Hello, this is a blackberry leaf. What does this plant have in common with ants? It's certain that some ants grow a fungus from these leaves. Leaf cutter ants have long become a kind of standard of an ant keeping. Like he was able to raise the Atta colony and immediately became a major player, who is looked as canes from around the corner. Greetings to all ant lovers on my channel. Today I bring to your attention the incredible story of one of my most valuable ant colonies leaf cutter ants. Enjoy watching! We immediately started talking about ants, even without unpacking, but it should be, but short. The ants came to me in December and this unforgettable smut started again. A gravy ball worth several hundred euros is back on my table. And most importantly, like the family is alive, but it's too early to draw conclusions. Let's take a closer look at the ants. For starters, I expected there to be more. The fungus looks tolerable, the little long-legged workers are running around. So far everything is going according to plan. In the meantime, housing for them is already made and is waiting for its new owners. I don't think it's worth explaining the nest system this time. In the old video about leaf cutters, we already touched on this topic. The only thing I have so far decided not to connect the compartment the trash can. Preparation Of course, I'm moist in the nest. On the advice of Western colleagues, I decided to replace this end with gypsum. Let's check how it works. All is ready. Now it remains to remember past mistakes and repeat everything. Go. I transfer the leaves one by one, setting them around a plastic island that acts as a barrier between the fungus and the wet plaster. By the way, these leaves came along with the ants so that they had food on the rod and maintained the microflora. With trembling hands I get to the most crucial and exciting moment. By the way, initially in the new nest I was going to make a dome around the fungus just from the sleeves, but in the end we came to the conclusion that an inverted gravy board would be more stable. And now such a tiny colony is in front of me at a glance. Another good sign was the eggs which stood out well against the background of the leaves. Leaves under which hid the most incredible and beautiful end I've ever seen. I didn't expect this moment to come again. How great! Just like two years ago. Through incredible excitement, armed with a spoon, I carefully transferred the fungus to a special place in the center of the container. In fact, leaf cutters are very calm ants, and with such machinations you don't have to worry too much. But despite this, all the same, at such moments you hold these ants as if for the first time in your life blowing off every speck of dust from them and not believing your eyes. Remember last time I compared them to ordinary messers? Well, I was wrong. Leaf cutters are quieter and work with them is much more comfortable. I think they can be compared with some kind of arenarius. Those who have kept them will understand. The last leaf? Yes, only one inch remained. The queen. I carefully move it to the fungus and our walk is done. I had to use tweezers to help her a little to get up. Why not visit the leaf cutters? Three days have passed since their resettlement and at this stage it's already possible to make predictions. The entire container is condensed and rightly so. Humidity should be high. I open the container, the humidification system curve come out, but doesn't matter. What do my words have there? The smallest workers are wandering around the gravy board, but they didn't touch the leaves that I gave them. Incredibly modest guys, 3 mm in length. So far I can't even believe that these are leaf cutters. But everything changes when you look under the gravy board. Oh, where is the fungus? Obviously it's not going so smoothly. In the stress of life the fungus constantly grows and constantly dies off. 
And here it's important that the ants after the transfer quickly move away from this chest and begin to grow it until it finally disappears. All the orange pieces on the fungus are dead and there were enough of them to understand that everything was already decided for the ants, although all is not yet lost. When leaf cutters are in trouble, keepers do the following. They buy a fungus from a person with a large colony of leaf cutters and plant it with their own. Fortunately, in the country where I live, there are many people with Ata Mexicana, and literally in a day I found a person who for a nominal fee helped me get out of the situation. Maximilian generously sent me a very modest amount of fungus and several hundred workers who arrived in a perfect condition. Thank him very much. Now I will temporarily place all this layering in a small container, because it's impossible to immediately throw everything to my colony. In fact, I didn't know what to do at all. Among my friends there were no people with experience in replanting leaf cutters, so there were many adventures ahead. I'm just pouring this incomprehensible substance into an impromptu formicario made of plastic and plaster. I will also give the ants strawberry leaves, let them move away from the rot and stress, probably they will start growing the fungus. Just in case, the man sent me a fungus in two versions, so that at least some part of it would reach, because it was very cold outside at that time. I also poured all the components of this box into this hotbed of leaf cutters. The ants are slowly getting used to it, but I have no time to waste. I immediately take a piece of fungus proportional to size of my colony. I scooped up quite a few workers with it, and I don't know how difficult it is to plant end of the genus Atta. That's why I bring most of them back. I should note that the leaf cutter's fungus is a very interesting spongy structure that can grow in such a way the chambers form in it. That's it. Ants live right inside this fungus, and catching tiny workers from there is not a simple task. In addition, I decided to leave a few ants inside the fungus to see the reaction of the meeting of two colonies. My ants have some kind of soldiers, so at the very least they can handle these babies. It's time to act, plus a very interesting experiment awaits for me, how leaf cutters from different colonies react to each other. Theoretically, when the ants get a healthy fresh fungus, they will immediately begin to cut the leaves and the mechanism will start, but all this is not accurate and I have to check this. Ants are ready. I just put a new fungus closer to the ants and watch. The workers immediately began to study it and at first glance everything went well, but it takes time to be sure. At that moment it seemed that everything was getting better, but it was still too early for conclusions. There was still a lot of fungus replanting ahead, but by this time I had already noticed a very important detail. Remember those micro-workers that I left in the fungus when I moved in? So with my ants they had no conflicts. This means that fungus donor supplements will become easier in the future, and in addition I will be able to actively add new workers, because I noticed that in my colony they began to gradually die. The most interesting begins. On these frames I checked the loyalty of the soldiers from the two colonies to each other, and apparently everything went smoothly. Now I'm trying to get the smallest worker I could find to join my colony. And as you can see, everything goes very smoothly. The guest is loyal to my ants, and they in turn do not pay attention to him either. As a result, he climbed into the deeps of the colony, where he disappeared from view. At this point I have prepared three more micro-workers and are going to pour them right on top of my ants. Let's try! 
I must say that the leaf cutters walk very confidently on plastic, and throwing them out of such a test tube is not an easy task. In other words, all lands that are naturally associated with trees have very tenacious puffs. Time has passed. In a couple of days the ants stabilize it, and at this stage it becomes clear that they has accepted the fungus, and McCallum near recovered. So far I don't see the growth of the fungus as well as cutting the leaves, but this process are interconnected and should begin soon. The corpses stopped appearing, most likely the ants died due to the lack of a healthy fungus and as a result of food. The ants seem to be more alive, but I will not stop resuscitation yet. I need to make sure everything is under control. This is how you buy leaf cutters, admire every ant and the fungus turns out to be most valuable. And in fact you keep it and the ants as it were help you with this. In the meantime I keep planting small pieces of fungus just to be sure. Ants have eggs, this can be seen with such resettlements. The workers carry this egg pack, which gives me very high hopes for the life of my leaf cutters. But as the fungus grows, new ants need to be added, because mine is already not enough to care for all this biomass. At this stage I don't stand on ceremony anymore, and just throw new workers on the fungus of my colony, they will figure it out among themselves. For example, here is another ready to work newcomer in my colony. As you can see, the ants immediately perceive it is their own and do not touch it. I don't think I discovered it first, but it was talking about such a phenomenon. If one of you decides to have leaf cutters, you will know that if necessary you can simply bring two colonies into one, just like that. In addition, my species Atta Mexicana can have two queens or more in the colony. These are polygenous leaf cutters, but in my case there was not enough finance for the second one, although one queen is enough for me. Thanks for watching this video. I want to remind you that this is only the first part of the whole story about leaf cutters. The other two will come out a couple of weeks apart. I also remind you about social networks, in particular Instagram and Discord, links to which you can find in the description. It's time to end the video. Subscribe to the channel, waiting for the continuation of the leaf cutters. This is the project of Anstera. See you.